a Democrat, just like the mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, a Democrat. Joining me now is Brandon Jun, president of the National Border Patrol Council. Brandon, great to have you this pro on the program this evening. Joe Biden, Brandon, has said that the real fault in this situation does not lie with his administration, but actually relies with a man who hasn't been in office for two and a half years. He still blames it on President Trump, Brandon. He blames it on MAGA Republicans. What do you say? Well, let's fact check him in real time. That's absolutely false. All we have to do is look at what, what was took place under the Trump administration. We had the most orderly immigration system in, the, in, in my history. In 25 years of doing this job, I'd never seen anything that was more orderly than under President Trump. Then you look at the numbers that, that we apprehended under President Trump. We dropped to 45-year lows, something this, that this administration completely ignores. Look at, the number of, look at the amount of fentanyl that was on our streets. It was at, at all-time lows under President Trump because we were able to go after the criminal cartels in, in real time. That is fact checking right now. When you look at what's going on under this administration, we are seeing more fentanyl on our streets than, than we've ever seen before. We're seeing more deaths of United States citizens than we've ever seen before. We're seeing more crime than we've ever seen before by illegal immigrants in the United mm -hmm. States. We're also seeing more deaths of those people that are crossing our borders illegally. We're seeing more drownings than, than ever before. We're seeing more deaths in the, in the deserts than we've ever seen before. Everything is at record high under this administration, and it's yeah. all based upon their policies. They changed policies that were working that President Trump implemented, and because of those changes, we're seeing a, a complete chaos on our borders, and everything is allowing, our cart is allowing the cartels to generate more profit than in any time in my 25-year career, which, again, is killing more United States citizens. We have right. to care. We're, we're, we hope that this administration would care more about the American citizens than their political aspirations. But unfortunately, that's that's what more we're on seeing. Those policies we're seeing them just care moment, more about Brandon. their political aspirations than the American people. More on those policies in just a moment, Brandon. Take a look at these numbers. You're in the Tucson sector, I believe. You can see the numbers, what's happening just in that sector alone. 11,000 apprehensions this week. As you mentioned, the many other angles of this entire tragedy. You can see the number of narcotics events and human smuggling involved as well. But I want to move to a potential solution, Brandon. And I think every American respects and appreciates the job that... Border Patrol does, even with, at times, its hands politically tied. But many Americans have asked for more, not necessarily from Border Patrol, but from any politician. They've asked for state governors to declare an invasion, giving them powers to invoke their own National Guard to address the problem. Governor Greg Abbott of Texas today did so, Brandon. He put up a declaration. He invoked um, Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3 of the United States Constitution, which he says gives him the power to declare an invasion and do the following things on your screen. Green, which is, most importantly, probably that bottom one, repel migrants. He said in that declaration, by the way, to the border. Now, Brandon, that's normally the job of Border Patrol. But I think at this point, Americans are saying anyone, everyone, stop, triage, stop the bleeding. Is this something you believe will help? It will. As long as we remove people immediately, if we end catch and release, if we end the reward that releases people into the United States, people will stop coming. That's what's so amazing about what, this, what, what Biden is doing. If he would simply enact policy that would allow us to remove people immediately from the United States, we would see an immediate decrease in illegal immigration. And when right. we see that immediate decrease, then we're able to go after the cartels. Yes, it will help what, what Governor Abbott is going to do. Let's just hope that he does it immediately. That's right. Let's, let's watch and make sure it's executed in Texas. Brandon Judd, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.